this video, we're taking on California Dreamin' by the Mamas and Papas. I'll break down the strumming and rhythm so you can play this one no matter your level. And we'll also learn that iconic intro lick. Welcome back to Relax and Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin and this is Maggie May. She's ready for some treats and some California dreaming. <laughs> well, I think he's behind the camera. Hello. Let's get started. We're using a capo on our fourth fret for this version, so you can play along with the record. However, the record is a little flat, I believe. You can see what you think. But in any case, we need a capo on the fourth fret for this lesson. We're going to talk about the chords first, and then we're going to jump into the rhythm, which really makes this song. And we'll build it up from kind of level one up to maybe like level three or four. So uh, for the chords, we're gonna need to know a C chord, an A minor chord, a G chord. Now there is an F chord in this and I play it mainly as an F major seven. It's okay if you hit the high E as well. If you can play an F bar chord, then that's fine too. Then we have an E7 chord, which is basically making that E shape and then lifting up your ring finger. So you have just the uh, fifth and uh, third strings fretted. That's an E7. Then there's an E sus4, E suspended four chord. Think of that. <laughs> It's what? on the E chords. Oh, it's the last one. Oh. <laughs> so the E suspended fourth chord, think of that as you have an E shape, but you're going to lift up your ring finger and move it down one string to the third string. So this E sus4 chord is basically open strings except for the second fret. We have our uh, middle finger on the second fret of the fifth string and our ring finger on the second fret of the third string. That's an E sus4 chord. For your free resource on three more classic rock tunes on the acoustic guitar using just five chords, check out the link in the description below. So we're gonna jump into this one. Let's go over the chord progression for the uh, first part of the verse here. We have an A minor to a G to that F, which I'm gonna play as an F major seven. Back to G, to the E sus4, to the E7, and then an F. Now we're going to keep this really simple for this level, and you can actually play the entire song this way. And I recommend doing that and starting here. We're going to keep a very simple, just down strums. One, two, three, four. Now these chords share the measure or split the measure, ever how you want to think about it. So at the beginning of this, these chords are all getting two down strums. So we have A minor, G, F, G, and then the E sus4 gets four down strums. It gets the whole bar. Then E7 twice, and F major seven or F twice. So that's the, uh, all the leaves are A minor twice, G, man, that was low, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this song is really, uh, all the leaves are brown. Okay. Well, we'll figure that part out <laughs> later. All right. So we have, uh, starting on this A minor, all the leaves are A minor, G, F, G, E sus four, four times, E seven twice, F twice. If you like this lesson so far and you're getting something out of it, please click that like button. It would really help us out. Okay? Then we go on to the rest of the uh, verse. Uh, the second part is the, uh, I've been for a walk. That part. That goes C, E7, A minor, F, E sus4 for four down strums, then an E7 for four down strums. Then that all just repeats for the verse. Start there. This one's really when you're going to kind of concentrate and go slow on. So once you have that down, we're going to change up the strum pattern, of course. So that was level one. 
Level two, and this one, um, actually you could probably stick with, depending on where you are. Uh, this one also sounds very good and a little more like the record. We're gonna change that down, the four down strums, to down, 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 up, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up. One and two and three and four and. We're also going to be splitting the measure again. So um, starting on that A minor, that will get the two down strums. One, two, and the G will get the three and four and. The F, one, two, the G, three and four and. The E sus four gets the whole strum pattern. Then the E seven, down, down, F, down, up, down, up. And the same thing applies for the rest of the verse, uh, starting with that. I've been for a walk on a winter's day. Okay? Now we're going to uh, take on kind of level three, and this one's much more like the record. I'm going to play it first, and then we'll I'll break it down for you. Okay, so that one is... Uh, all the leaves are brown and the sky is gray. So now we're doing a little, getting a little more fancy. There's uh, what's called a push. So this one's a little funky. We're playing, um, when you push a chord, you kind of start that chord on the and of the measure before. So at the beginning of this, we have all the leaves are brown. So we're counting that one and two and three and four and on that F. And this is why I play that F a lot, like the F major seven. You can do, or <laughs> make sure I do it right there. I just think that's a little more time-consuming and clumsy. I think the F major 7 sounds good there. So a couple of things are happening here in this, this uh, level. We're pushing the F chord. It's going to be on that last and of the measure. It's kind of this way. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Then we're going to skip the first beat. We're not gonna strum on the first beat of the next measure. And that is what feels a little weird, <laughs> takes a little getting used to. As I always say, slow it way down and just be repetitive. Hang out on the couch and do this. And it doesn't have to be perfect as you watch me play this. I will sometimes throw in uh, another down and up strum in here, but this is the core of it. And the way you would count this is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then you just kind of apply the chords to that same pattern. So you have the second part of the verse. Whenever you see me go, <laughs> that's the exaggerated push of the and, or the and beat for the push. So from the top, we'll go, all the leaves are brown, and the sky is gray. I've been for a walk on a winter's day. I'd be safe and warm if I was in LA. California dreaming on such a winter's day. And that E sus4 at the end just gets played twice. Now all three of those sound great. Yeah, helpful if I do like show all three, like yeah. the progression. Okay. Yeah. All right, so this is level one. All the leaves are brown and the sky is gray. That's number one, level one. Level two, 
All the leaves are brown And the sky is gray And again, that's the one I would... You can stay there the whole song and sound perfectly fine. And then level three here. All the leaves are brown And the sky is gray Okay. All three. Yes. Then we have the really pretty and iconic opening lick. This is not exactly like the record. This is uh, my suggestion on how to play this, just kind of playing solo. I'll build around an A minor chord shape. So fret that A minor chord shape. We're going to start here on the fifth string. It's open. Fourth string. Third string. Put your pinky down onto the second string third fret, then lift that up, then lift up your index finger off of the second string for an open. So from the top it's... And you're going to repeat that three times. Then to that E sus4 long down strum all the leaves are brown that's just when you hear that you know uh -huh. it's the 1960s it's california it's the mamas and papas mama chaos just amazing amazing group so that's the intro and then you also have that same similar idea at the beginning of the instrumental which is the only other section of the song it's the really pretty That's my flute. <laughs> <laughs> so again, that's all just this A minor shape. We're just doing down up strums. Index finger up, index finger down, pinky down, pinky up, index up. So you have. just goes into the same chords as the verse. There's so many parts of this song that are great to just kind of sit and play repetitively over and over kind of slow. That's the first one. This is another one. So take it slow, build up and move through those levels and enjoy this classic song. Remember that Vicky and Maggie and I very much appreciate your views and support. Sorry, I just looked over at her and she's totally asleep. Yeah. Totally, totally snoozing. Uh, we'll see you guys for the next lesson. I got another one here for you though on uh, three acoustic grooves to kind of help get your rhythm going. This is a good song that we just worked on and those grooves can help you with many more songs. And remember you're never too old to learn and we'll see you next time. Take care.